Hello everyone, welcome back to Civilization V, our glorious Draconian Empire. And uh, right off the bat, I'm gonna have to tell you guys that I made some changes on how these council meetings um, are going to work. Because um, I've decided, well, I've, well, I try to start a council meeting and, you know, think of things that you guys could vote on or just, you know, uh, make suggestions for or whatever. And I didn't really come up with anything that, that felt like it, it would make sense. You know, that, that... <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna show you an example. For example, we have these policies. In two turns, we would pick a new policy. And I was wondering, you know, I could ask you guys, should we go for wagon trains or trade unions? But really? It just doesn't really feel that important to me. It, you know, make letting you guys decide on this, it, it just... I don't know. To me, it just doesn't really... In the beginning, it kind of mattered. Because, you know, in the beginning, it really had a big impact. Right now, it doesn't really gonna have that much of an impact on how we play. You know, in the beginning, if we had honor, we would have played much different uh, than tradition, and, and same with liberty, would have definitely played different. So um, that that really made it made uh, an impact. So it, it was, was important, you know, that you pick these policies. But now it doesn't really matter that much to me. At least I think so. Um, same with a lot of other things that I could potentially ask. Like for example, um, the the technology. I pretty much want to go for civil service because, well, we get more food and the our nice unit, and nothing else really makes a lot of sense to get at the moment. So I don't really want to guys. Uh, I don't really want you guys to vote on any of that. Um, also, we don't really have that much discovered, th that much new, newly discovered that we could really, you know, have a naming uh, round. So. I think what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do things in the future is, I want you guys to please um, leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below on what we should do next or what we could potentially do. Just like an example would be, oh, Chief, send your ship over to explore in that area. Something I'm actually gonna do. Um, or another thing, go declare war on the Reach because we can destroy them. Um, or other things that you guys have already said, like with the um, with the profit, please convert your your stuff um, because then we're gonna um, you know get some more uh, happiness and gold from that. And all all, all these kinds of suggestions. And um, if I feel like there's a couple suggestions that kind of go into different directions. Then I will do a straw poll where you guys then can decide between all these player uh, viewer suggested um, things that we can do. And, you know, just pick what you think is the best course of action. Uh, I hope that made sense. And um, I'm going to explain it again once it actually happens. So what I want you guys to do now is basically when I play, um, just, you know, look at the map and say, Hey, you should um, settle a city here or you should settle a city here. And just su suggest that, and then uh, I will take note, and we'll we'll dus discuss that later. All right, now uh, enough of that. Let's uh, get going. We actually we actually ended in the middle of a turn, so we're gonna have to finish that one first. And it seems as though we have just built uh, bananas here. That's pretty cool. Also, I did actually um, fiddle with my um, uh, graphic gra graphics uh, settings here, and it uh, because I actually wanted to get the wonders to show up. Um, on the map, and that didn't work. So, yeah, maybe things look a little bit, little bit different, but I, I doubt it actually. All right, what do I want to do? I think I want to build a mine in that uh, hilly, in that hill area over here. Yeah. All right, so uh, you go over here, and also I think one thing we're gonna do, since we're now gonna be able to um, get a policy in two turns uh, that reduces the cost on all of our roads, I think we're gonna start building some more roads. We're gonna definitely uh, connect. Uh, Zach's end to Silverdance, Silverdance to Sunhold, and uh, Saltcliff to Silverdance, uh, Saltcliff to Flaming Peak, and Flaming Peak also to Pentas, and maybe all these three together. Not entirely sure how we're gonna do this um, over here. That may be something you guys could suggest how we should uh, connect these cities, uh, like just one city, uh, just one street over here, um, and then one to Pentas or whatever. I guess you you guys will figure something out. But yeah, uh, for now let's actually go forward. Okay, we have our Poor Sarches, Zahes de Trukland, who is now finally returning home from his adventures over here in the Tusk of Myr. Awesome. And who's this guy? Oh, that's my caravan. Right. I wanted to send that caravan. Um, I think I wanted to send it back to Silverdance. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I did. Yeah. 
Um, that's also something you guys could suggest uh, where to send our uh, caravans. Alright, so uh, here we have Martin Storm who can actually upgrade to a composite bowman. And you know what? We're actually gonna. We could shoot these. Oh, look at that. We could totally kill these horses. We're gonna do that. Look at that. I actually didn't think we would kill these guys, but that was good nonetheless. Um, you're healing up right now. I don't want you to do that, actually. I want you to move on because we can explore some more stuff. So you're going to kill this encampment, uh, these brutes, and then we're probably going to give these workers back to get some relations with these guys. But mostly because, well, I don't really want to get this worker all the way back to our homeland. That would be quite frustrating, actually. All right, um, so Acceptin has arrived. So one more turn or one more step, and now you can spread religion. Cool. So this should be a dragon cult now. Yes, it is. Awesome. Look at that. We got three more gold, if I'm not mistaken. We also got some more happiness. I should have looked earlier, but yeah, that's definitely cool. So now what's missing is silver dance, but silver dance will now get pressure from Zach's end because of the trade route we have. So that is very good. Um, then and Saltcliff Pentas are still not. Although you have three followers in pressure. Okay, so that's gonna that's gonna convert. Uh, soon enough. Good. And who do we have here? Our general. Right. What do I? What did I want to do with him? Right. I'm actually gonna send you onto. Okay. I can't send you on the on the lake. You're gonna embark on the lake. I'm gonna send you on this oasis because I want to see if you can build a citadel on on that sea. Uh, obviously, you you told me that you actually want to continue fighting, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, but but still, I just want to see if it's possible. And Olena has built the Temple of the Red God. Good for her. Good for her indeed. But she still only has three cities. It's, uh, that's interesting. Right. And we can build a... Well, we'll get a new production. Where is this? In Flaming Peak. Okay. Um, what are we going to get? Wow. We can only build... We cannot build any... Hmm. Alright. We have one worker down here. But that's one worker for this entire... Really? No, we have one worker here as well. Okay. Um, wow. We could, while well, we actually can get two more trade routes. I would like to build some freighters in, in the capital. Actually, you know what we're going to do? I'm going to buy these freighters. Purchase that. Yeah, cargo ship. First one. Can I purchase the second one? I can't. I just purchased two of them. All right, there goes all of our money, but I kind of wanted to get that. So we don't have to build this, which is kind of stupid because now I have still no production. <laughs> this area right here. Um, well, what to get? I really don't freaking know. Um, if we're going to get another worker, do we need another? If we build all of these roads, we probably do need another worker. We have one worker here uh, building up Sunhold. We have no one in Dragon Hall. We have one guy here. Um, nobody here. We have one in Saltcliff. We have one in Silverdance as well. We have one in Zack's End. I don't really think we need another worker either. Ah, oh, what can we go for? House of Black and White. These two wonders, I'm just not particularly interested in. I just think that they, they don't fit. They don't make sense. Um, for our culture, so I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I just don't, I don't really just build units. I guess I'm just gonna build more troops I guess um, what are we going to build as spearmen or will we build no we have two swords man we only have one spearman actually the flame spears if I remember correctly this on the embarkation bonus verse okay never mind you know what yeah we're gonna do that we're gonna actually build is another spearman here because they will probably upgrade to our special unit all right um, close this, please. And you guys need to build... Alright, mine's gonna give you one production, a trading post, two gold. I'd rather go for the production, thank you, though. Um, and the swordsman, you go back to fortify in Pentos. And same with Johnny Crapper, I think. But you're gonna heal up quickly before you actually go into the Hidden Valley. Um, and you can move. Go onto that hill to discover some stuff and actually start fortifying again. Okay, so this is the end 
Um, this seems to be the end of this continent, although there's a little bit of an island here, a dye island. Dye plantation on a, on a small island, interesting. But we're gonna have a look at this. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is, Matthew Storm is gonna continue west, and um, Martin Storm is gonna continue east. Uh, at least that is the plan. And then we have our general here. Okay, so yeah, we can't build anything atop these um, these oases, I see. So they're utterly useless, actually. Okay, our Dromon is now going to continue. So obviously those are things I already do. Our Dromon is going to uh, also discover lands, but in the south, basically, whereas Matthew Storm is going uh, to explore in the north here. Okay, you can shoot on these guys. Let's do that. Okay, they're dead. And now we can probably get in there and free these uh, workers. It's gonna be glorious. And the you, Johnny Crapper, please also fortify. Thanks a lot. And let's move on to the next turn. Now these turns actually take uh, much longer now since we have so many more uh, people actually. And we still have 10 rounds of a golden age. That's just awesome. Awesome. Ashai seeks investors, so if we send them gold now, that would be especially happy. Oh, 50% more influence. We could do that, although I think we already have quite a lot of influence with them. Um, yeah, 37 more than we need to be allies. But, you know, this is for another f uh, 45 turns, so we could always do that later. Now, um, as I said, we're going to adopt a new thing. Um, land trade routes, two gold, and maintenance paid on roads or one gold from harbor. Since we have two trade routes, they should actually yield us four gold and more than that. Yeah, even more. Um, I should have had a look at that, but I think it does give us gold from trade routes, does it not? S other civilizations, trade routes between you? Yes. No. It doesn't show. I don't think we got trade routes between, oh, for trade routes between our cities. But whatever. Um, Silver Dance, you need a new thing. And I, yeah, since you're starving, we're probably going to give you an aqueduct. There you go. And you guys have healed up, so let's move on. Cool. Um, these workers have built a trading post. And what can we build? Those are planes, so let's build some a farm here. Just so that, yeah, Sandhold is starving, almost. Um, not entirely yet. But, <laughs> yeah, they're very close. Okay, then we're probably going to build some mines here, here, and here. And then, obviously... <laughs> Do you have fresh water? Let me have a look. This is fresh water. Floodplains, desert river. No, this is just plains. All right. Oh, well. Okay, uh, two cargo ships. Let's see where we can trade. We can trade with Pentos and Port Morak. Port Morak for 14 gold in pressure. I think we're definitely going to do that. Uh, certainly, and I think yes, and the second one, the second cargo ship, we're actually going to send to um, Saltcliffe, because um, if I'm not mistaken, we have the mission to get a trade route. Yes, they want a trade route, so that's going to make them even more happy, which is something we don't need, but you know, we, we can always do. And I think we're going to send it to Saltcliffe instead of to Pentos, so yeah, um, Saltcliffe please, yep. Uh, just so we can make extra money, and then we're probably gonna have the sea pike uh, go over here and kind of just w look out or watch out for for pirates. All right, the, our general is currently not doing much, so we're gonna make him sleep because I don't need him at the moment. Um, and our dromont can continue to explore things. Cool. Well, we shall do that. Okay, and Martin Storm is facing some undead horsemen, so you know what? Um, it was fun while it lasted, but I don't really want to stay here and, and, and fight the entire time. That's kind of boring, so we're actually going to go back. Um, we're not going to deal with that. It's just annoying at the moment. Good, let's go forward. I want to see what's over here. I don't want to fight horses with archers. It's not really the most efficient way to do it anyways. Yeah, look at our happiness, it's just so good. It, really, you know, simply because we have no unhappiness generated from cities, which we certainly should. Um, and Pentas is now religious. Awesome. That is so good. 
And we could actually build something with our faith now. But I think what we're going to do is actually we're going to build some more matter of mountains to get even more, uh, well, religion and, and happiness and all that. Okay. Now, we could build these wonders here. House of black and white. Again, I just don't really feel like it's smart to do this. Culture per religion. Which would be two culture. And, um... Generate gold. Land trade routes from the city. It just... I don't feel like that's that's necessary. So, I guess we're just gonna focus on research. I guess money. Because with money, we can build up our other cities. Alright, fine. We're gonna... I don't know. I don't know what else to do. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. And you... Move on, please. I don't even know where to send them. I don't even know where to send our horses. We have so many units. Way too many, actually. And you are gonna build a farm, sure. Actually, by the way, can we send... Alright, a bag is gonna give us... Market's gonna give us two gold. Three. So we could actually... Um, get rid of these two. And... Uh, I guess one can be sent here. And one will be sent to uh, get some more research. Yeah. Makes, does that make sense? I do think so, yeah. Since we don't really have much to do anyway. We have built all the buildings. I can't even believe we built all the buildings already. Oh well. Oh, excuse me. I could not mute my mic quickly enough. I had to sneeze. Sorry. But yeah, we're exploring some more stuff over here. We brought me out of anything. Alright, let's establish a trade route to Mur. This is obviously not as as much as we would get from Port Morak, but I think that it is because we are not trading with our capital uh, and just, you know, a colony city. Obviously. Um, you know, this is just seven citizens and those are 18, so that makes a big difference. Um, so yeah. You, okay, Martin Storm, you're over here. Uh, yeah, we're gonna go over here first. Have a look. Okay, there's a royal a royal worker. Oh, King's Landing's uh, adjective is royal. I like that. It does make sense. So yeah, we've basically explored this continent. So we could, you know, name something over here. We have these kind of mountainous area. Then we have... Well, we have this... Claw. Actually, I already made... Um, I actually want to named this the Claw of Morak because that has been suggested by Martin Storm. So we're gonna name, I actually made a label for this already, but it's uh, it's it went missing. So we're gonna actually you know what maybe that's something I will do. Just to show you guys um the label? I don't know. I kinda feel like that would be a waste, but I kinda wanna show you the label. So we're gonna unexplore we're gonna explore this uh, land tile over there. Okay we can uh, buy something with our faith. Pentos has now five citizens, which is awesome. So we're gonna send the citizens, yeah, over here. That's pretty. That's pretty good. Yeah. And then next, we're gonna build up the other things. Cool. Um, what's this? Citizens of Mer are glad you connected the trade. With yeah. Oh my God, they're just so happy about it. Um, you guys have built up this. Wow. Look at this. We're almost working all of our things. Cool. Well. Go on there, and I guess we're gonna build another uh, plantation, and we're, then we're probably gonna build a mine here. Um, Sockle grows very quickly. I like that. Um, does every city have someone defending it? Yeah, it does. Well, we guess we're gonna go here and station ourselves here, and kind of claim this for us, uh, because I do want to settle there at some point. All right, now that we've built this plane, I think we wanna build a lumber mill here. And the sea pike, you will uh, be alert over here, just so we know if pirates are coming to, you know, get our attack us basically, get our gold. Uh, okay, so we have one worker. We we definitely want to get the copper at some point. We also want to get the deer because those are some two good tiles. We we'll want to get the sheep here. Mm -hmm. All right. There was something I wanted to do, but I forgot what it was. Damn it. Alright. Probably wasn't that important then. Uh, you go over here to check out what's over here. Yeah, it seems like the continent just ends. 
Alright, and you can uh, scout some more stuff. Oh, look at this. Ironborn. Iron Tree Rain. Well, hello there. Hello, indeed. Okay. And uh, that seems to be the end of the episode, guys. Well, no, no, no. No, one more thing. We're gonna build a Mother of Mountains. If we haven't already built it here, which we may not have. No, we have. Uh, I think we have not built in Flame Peak? Yeah, so we're gonna do that. Actually, no, never mind. We're gonna build a uh, Mother of Mountains here. There you go. This is the last thing we will do. Alright, and um, that was the end of the episode, guys. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, I will see you next time. Chief Dronka, signing off.